Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be building out a rig. This is in our warehouse location here. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm, such as this one, we provide all services. We provide a place to mine. We provide all the hardware, all the GPUs. We source everything. What you do is you invest your funds with us. We build this out for you, then you collect your Bitcoin. So if you think that's something that works for you, for your investment, go to CryptoLLC.org. And if you're looking for an ASIC mining farm, we do the same thing. So if you're interested in that, again, same place, CryptoLLC.org. Now, we only operate under a minimum investment of 500000 If you have those funds, go to CryptoLLC and we'll get that started. Now, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share the video. All right, so we're going to be building out a rig. Got our 3080s, 3090s, 3080s. We got more 3080s, LHR, Zotac cards over here. And you can see I'm working on this rig right now. So we're going to shoot this guy up, attach the rest of them, put all the USBs, shielded USBs, and then the longer ones that don't fit on the edges and the power cords. We're going to be doing all that right now. Let's get started. So this rig holds 14 GPUs. That's what most of our rigs hold. We run B250s on basically all of our, all of our rigs. Some of them have MSI um, motherboards, but most of them have these B250 from ASUS. The CPU we run on our rigs is the 7700 i7 car, uh, CPU. Also, we run the 7700K, the overclocked one. Then we have our RAM. We run the G-Skill. Let me take off a RAM here. Here, I'll show you. We run this G-Skill RAM. It's a G-Skill 16 gigabyte RAM stick. We only run one RAM stick. Uh, these are pretty good priced RAM. So we just run them at at 16 gigs rather than the 8 gig because we could run them at 8 but it works out perfectly for 16 with the price that you pay for it all right so we're gonna have our usbs here this is our bluetooth usb plug right here that we use so we can monitor control the motherboard so we can update the bios if it has an available bios update got a little power button here that we plug into the board our three power connections here we run our main power supply right here this guy controls the motherboard so he's going to be in charge of actually turning on and off the motherboard that's going to be this guy and we have two more power connections over here our power supplies here because you know you were running 14 gpus they all run down we're going to run them off that outlet over there so we're going to keep everything loaded not to the max but close because we want to have some room left over we run or left over on the copper that's we're running on an outlet here so this is one individual copper another individual copper here uh, and uh, that way we can uh, designate 20 amps maximum we're only using about 17 amps so we can designate it to one rig so how do we run this we run two power molex connectors these uh, go to two GPUs, so our one and two, and this runs on one cord. Then we have another two over here, and then the fifth one over here. So we run five per PSU. This PSU, since it's running the motherboard, the power, the uh, CPU, the RAM, all that stuff, we only put four on this guy. So he's gonna power these two cards and these two cards. This guy over here is gonna power one, two, three, four, five. And then this guy's gonna power one, two, three, four, five. So five, five, four. So that's how we run it. Run it just like that. All right, now let's put on our VGA power cords here. Now we run our power cords in such a way where we're gonna designate each, each card, we're gonna designate one and a half VGA power cords here. Why we do that is because we don't want to just run the whole entire card off of one wire. I mean, you can, but in the long term, we're thinking it's probably better to 
not do that, but to instead spread out the power consumption, right? Not to load the wires all the time up, you know, 100%, all that stuff. So what we do is we actually do it like this. So we're gonna designate one whole wire, VGA cable here, to each GPU, and then we're gonna designate another wire, but it's only gonna be half. That way we have one and a half rather than two. So how do we do that is we run these dual 8-pin connections here. These dual pin 8-pin connect, connections are just big enough where you can plug this guy in like this and then this guy in like this. You see how it perfectly fits and then we just go down here and it fits perfectly and you can see here now we have one and a half and one and a half so each one's getting one plus a half it gives them plenty of power and then the VGA cables don't have to be loading a whole entire graphics card all by themselves they can actually spread out that load but you don't have to do this uh, if you're setting up your mining farm. But we do, and I think it's better long term. And it doesn't really cost anything at all. Just a little bit more work and a little bit more wires. But it doesn't matter. See how fast that was? Fine. Now I can be you know, very confident that the power supply is it's easier for it to manage all these cards. It's running off of more VGA ports than it otherwise would. And that should provide a better, more stable operation. Now, for the five, so this works out perfectly when you have four cards. But for the five card PSU, we actually have to run one of the cards with two dedicated because we're running now at an odd for the graphics card, it's going to be an odd number. So it's not five, it's not a four, it's five. And because it's odd, we have to now run it like this. We have to basically run the one of the cards off of two VGA cables. And since this card is the farthest one away, it's actually perfectly set up in a way that I can plug in these dual 8-pin connections, right, Two, and it actually reaches it. It wouldn't reach it if I was using a regular one, not a dual one. See how much longer it is? I could actually reach it. So that works out perfectly. Now let's plug in some more of these guys here. So, same thing, you can plug them like this, spread out. Another duel here. So again, it's one, two, three, and then these guys, four, five. Looks like this guy over here. And now we need some singles. We got our two duels here, so we just need four of these single guys.
it so that should be enough power. There you go. So now those five cards, one, two, three, four, five. They're all on one power supply. Their riser Molex connectors are all on one power supply. All of their VGA cables are all on one power supply. Now I gotta set up the other five cards onto this power supply over here. So again, I'm running it on, so I cannot, I mean, I have to have one of the cards loaded on two VGAs here, so. Let me do that here. Like this, and then this guy goes in here. Same thing over here. So, now I need some more DJ cables. There's that double double. And then So that's all the DJ cables there. It's all ready to go now. I just gotta run the USBs. So these first two right here, they have to go off of the blue one. The blue one is longer. And they're all gonna be loaded into port number one.
of these guys at the top both will have to run off of off of their uh, off the blue one. One more blue guy, blue wire here. Short one. Next, I'm short a couple, not one. All right, so this guy goes in here. The reason why I'm using these is because the red ones are too short. The ones that come with the risers, they're too short, they don't reach the motherboard, so I have to use the uh, blue USB a little longer. Now I can use the red ones here. And it should be just enough to fit right there. So that just fits perfectly. Same thing here. So you can see how I'm loading it. These four cards, right here, one, two, three, four, they're all loading off of A, power supply. This is right here. And so they're all loading there into these three. One, two, three sections. They can only load here. That's power supply A. Power supply B loads into these two sections, and then power supply C, this guy over here, loads into these two sections. And you can't, you can't mix them up because then you'll have problems with the motherboard. The motherboard's not designed like that. The motherboard is expecting you to plug in the riser into its proper slot, depending on what power supply the riser is running off of and what power supply the GPU is running off of. So you make sure that you plug them in correctly because you will cause problems with that and you might even burn your board or whatever. Who knows what's gonna happen. Okay, so we got that. Oh, shoot, that's not. One, two, three, four, okay. That's supposed to be right over here, still on power supply B. Okay, the next one is power supply C. This one plugs into a different section on the motherboard that will then power the yeah, power supply C. That's gonna be this guy right here. And you can see it designated on the board. You know, they uh, change the colors a little bit on the board, so that way you know that it's meant for C, or whatever is meant for B, C, A, and so on. This one, is the one that's not long enough. I have to actually use a blue one. Like so.
four. And then the last one is also too short. That needs another USB here. Like so. Okay, now they're all plugged in. All right, they're all good. Now I gotta make sure that the wires don't get in any of the fans. And the USBs. Make sure they're all good, so it's good. There's my SSD, it's already good to go. Yeah, everything looks good. Now I plug in my uh, HDMI cable here. I got my USB, my uh, Bluetooth USB for the keyboard and mouse. So that's all good. Okay, that's all good. Turn on my power supplies. This guy, this guy. And then this guy's already on. You can see a blink in here. We've got power, my CPU, heat sink is on, everything is good. Now I can press power button. Alright, so it turns those guys on. And then these guys at the end. So they're all on. Now let's see if it shows up on the monitor. There it is. Now we're gonna go into BIOS. Oh, it's got a bad uh, PCI slot right there. One, two, three, and then four. So, there's a bad slot here. So I turn this off. So this guy right here, he's for some reason, he's got some kind of maybe bad connection or something. So, make sure you good. This guy right here, so he might not be fully on. Unplug it, plug it back in like this. It might be a power power connection as well. Maybe the power connection is not plugged in. That's plugged in, and that's plugged in. They're both plugged in, and it turns on. So let's try again. They both they both turn on. Let's see. Okay, there it is. So had some kind of problem. That's one, two, three, four, five, five. Everything is good. All the PCI Express are detected. Now we go into BIOS. We gotta make sure our BIOS is updated. It is 2021. Then we go to advanced onboard. We turn off audio, we don't need audio. And then we go to 8 p.m. We're gonna turn that off, I and mean, we turn that on. We want the power to restore. If the power is lost, we want it to be able to restore automatically. I don't have to be here to press the power button on the motherboard. So we're gonna save that. Audio off, power on, save that. There that goes. Now we gotta make sure that I can actually toggle the um, toggle the uh, power supplies. So let me do that here. Okay. All right, so he's booting up right now. 
So we kill it right now. See how it all died? I killed it from my phone. Now it's gonna try to restart itself because the power on should be working, but it can't because the power supply is dead. I killed power to this power supply here. So now if I press turn it back on, it should turn on. You see, it turned on. I didn't press the power button. It turned on without me pressing the power button. So now I can remotely check, you know, remotely restart the whole rig without being here. If, uh, if it glitches, it freezes. I can't log in, I can't see remotely, I can't do anything about it, then the only thing I can do is I have to restart it with power on and off. That's what that switch is for. I can see it booting up now. So the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna start installing devices. It's gonna try to initialize devices. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it just loads Windows 11. Maybe it'll do that right now, that'd be great. But let's see what happens here. It might just load Windows 11 right away. Yeah, it looks like it's probably gonna load Windows 11. Let's see what it's doing over here. Oh, there it is, it just loaded Windows 11. So, it's ready to go. So now I can go in there, change the name, change the PC name, change the username. Um, everything's already set up on it with remote desktop connection, everything. So I can set it up and I can basically boot up that computer in the next 10 minutes, hopefully if all the drivers for the GPUs are installed. All right, so that's the whole entire process of how to set it up. I mean, I started off with just the GPUs. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe at the bell. If you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm or an ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. Now remember, remember, we require a minimum investment of 500,000. If you have the funds, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, we'll get something set up for you. Until next time, bye.